everybody, and welcome to my uh, install and review of BlueStacks 3. Uh, I have been using BlueStacks for years now, and uh, I did the review and install of when BlueStacks 2 came out. So I figured, hey, why not do this, even though it's been out for a little bit um, in beta. And I think I don't know if it's still full beta or whatever is going on, but uh, you can just go to BlueStacks.com, and that's where it is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is uh, version 3.0. And uh, the first thing I notice is that there's not a the the sidebar thing, which I think was a pain in the butt. <laughs> but you could uh, later on you could actually um, you could change that around. So we're just going to see. I uh, just downloaded this. Didn't take that long. First off, I don't know what this is. Uh, friends, I can see who's uh, friends. Anon is downloading. It will be all right. That's cool. I guess there's BlueStacks friends. Uh, Google. Uh, Google stuff, there's my uh, Google stuff, and uh, you can upgrade to premium, that sort of stuff. All right, so let's go home, and uh, let's go to, um, let's see where the App Center is. I could check my email there. Let's check the App Center. Wow, this looks pretty cool. There's a whole lot of stuff here, and it's uh, adding up. Look at all these things, Final Fantasy, all this stuff. All right, so that's the first thing I notice. Um, I don't see where my games are. And uh, this is all like uh, popular, top grossing, trending. These are all right from the um, the Google Play Store. So uh, I can uh, get on with my friends, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I guess that's for Google Plus, it looks like. I don't know, that looks cool. So support, let's see what's going on here. And uh, uh, Mobile Mo, BlueStacks 3, how can I do this? Now, I wonder, uh, the first thing I want to see is, uh, can I right click? I can't do the, the right click where you uh, switch to um, portrait mode and here's I, I, don't, I haven't looked at anything this remember this is my first look uh, let's see uh, where the apps are blue stacks I can't really see exactly where my apps are um, and uh, that's what we'll have to do let's see system apps um, I guess we'll just uh, download something and stuff I should have stuff here um, let's just take a look at uh, WWE Supercard, because that's, you know, the big game I play. Everybody knows that. Uh, WWE Supercard. Whoop. I, typing is cool, guys. All right. Uh, wrestling action and card battle game. Let's see if it's, uh, all right. So it does, it is there. It's, um, I just don't know how to find it exactly um, at this point. So we're opening it up, and let's see if, uh, now here's the big problem I have already. I, I cannot... Let's see if uh, this is the Shake It. Um, well, let's see if we can do there. Take screenshot, uh, toggle full screen, toggle controls, open up keyboard, keyboard uh, things. Now, what I want to do is I don't like the side stuff. Um, that is the one thing I don't know. Let's just, sh we shaked it. That was cool. Uh, take screenshot. No, I'm good. Um, let's toggle a full screen. Now, yeah, full screen mode is pretty cool. The problem is, is like I... I don't know how to. Oh, hello. Uh, what is F11? I'm sorry. Uh, I've gone full screen. I just hit F11. Okay. So, well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I hit F11 and it doesn't come on a full screen. All right. So let's just see here. Huh. Interesting. So this is a kind of a icky thing. <laughs> oh wait. So I I hit escape and it backed out. Alright, so what I don't know is how to get this to just go to portrait mode when it's doing that. Um, Multi-instance, that's uh, nothing that we can let Google Play. And I click it, it doesn't do anything. But, you know what? Let's just, um, let's see uh, where my apps are. Alright, I don't see where my apps are. You know what I'm saying? Here's... I'm clicking a lot and it's not doing anything. Weird. Okay, that's interesting. I think it actually froze on me. Or, uh, yeah. All right, I'll stop this and uh, start again. All right. Okay, so uh, I just uh, basically closed out of it and came back in and all my apps were there, which is awesome. Uh, so let's just go back to Supercard. Let's see what happens. Yes! So, a boo! Yes! Okay. This is awesome. All right, there's a key mapping setting. I'm not going to actually show that. This is what I've been waiting for, okay? Um, it automatically went to this. 
So I'm so happy now because this is one of the biggest things I, I did not like about BlueStacks 2 is that you couldn't have the app go into just portrait mode and uh, that sort of stuff. I am so happy about this and uh, I'm just, it makes me happy. First thing I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to recharge my guys real quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually way cool. You know, maybe uh, it was just because I didn't, um, maybe I had to download something or, uh, you know, update it. Because, I mean, literally what I did was I downloaded it. Because in the, the BlueStacks 2 video I made, I basically just downloaded it. and then But you saw me actually downloading it. So this is actually a little bit different. So uh, that's awesome that it goes right to portrait mode. And uh, that makes me so happy. All right. So, uh, wait, I, gotta, I forgot. I can't get out until it's here. And uh, let's just get out of there. And you saw like how it looked up there. Uh, there's uh, the Facebook, which uh, automatically opens up because of the SuperCard thing. That's really cool. Okay, uh, let's just take a look at uh, WWE Champions real quick. I know it's going to tell me I need to update it, but it goes right into portrait mode. But it's really, really awesome. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to um, check that out. So uh, I don't know exactly all of this cool stuff. For um, the streaming with this, that is something I have not gotten to work yet uh, with BlueStacks 2. I never have tried it either. Let me put it that way. Uh, so let's just go back there. And, uh, you know, you can use multi-instances and that sort of stuff. Uh, pretty cool. I like the, uh, the fact that all this stuff, when you're in the app, is at the bottom of it. It's not at the side. So it doesn't. it's not so annoying-ish. It's not something that, I mean, and that was a feature that took a long time in, in BlueStacks 2 to, to get rid of that sidebar. But I'm, I'm really happy with the uh, portrait apps going to portrait mode. And uh, it looks pretty cool so far. So uh, BlueStacks 3, available at BlueStacks.com. Remember, this is not a promoted video. I remember I said that like 18 times in the second one. That's what I said. I wanted to say this in the, this one uh, only once. <laughs> But anyways, uh, what do you guys think about it? Um, how many of you have used this for streaming? Uh, do you like it and that sort of stuff? Um, I actually, let's, I don't know how, I guess that's part of a, a different thing. I don't know exactly how to, well, I'm not going to install an APK. Um, I don't see where I can just automatically stream from this yet. But then again, remember, this is just my first look. Uh, how can I enable it? How to get an account? Uh, uh, troubleshooting. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, that is what we've got. And uh, if you uh, like this video, like this video. If you don't, uh, dislike this video. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And we love you long time. Blink, 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 bye, 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 yeah, buddy. Yeah.